Bless the love and blessings way up to be back with another video. The bronze bomber Deontay Wilder says death is better than defeat. And Sugar Ray Leonard was on a hot boxing with Mike Tyson. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Real Life Boxing! <laughs> Blessed love and blessed day, oh boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fine, this is Real Life Boxing. As I said, the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder, he says death is better than defeat. And Mike Tyson had Sugar Ray Leonard on Hot Boxing um, podcast and it was absolutely amazing. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash on the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when all content is being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. Let's get into it. Out of the words of the bronze bomber, out of the mouth of the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, when you have a warrior in the mindset so strong, death is better than defeat because if you're going to get defeated in the ring, you'd rather die in the ring. Doing something that you love to do, and I'm every bit of that. Fury scored two knockdowns Saturday night, one, one apiece in the third and fifth round. All right, we know that. Um, my opinion on the words of the, bro of the, of the bronze bomber. Um... I kind of disagree. I understand the warrior mindset. I understand where he's coming from, but I've got to say that um, I disagree. If um, the mindset was so strong, then you should be able to accept um, defeat and not want to die um, for a WBC World, Ch World Championship title or not want to die... Um, for the sake of having a loss on your record. With all the things that Deontay Wilder has said in the aftermath of this fight, this is one of the more ridiculous things um, to me. Now, like I said, I don't want to discredit the warrior mindset and I don't want to discredit his heart, but um, I got to question his, his, uh, his intelligence on this one or his, um, his lack of sympathy in his lack of um compassion towards his family towards his his kids towards his wife Deontay Wilder has four kids you know what I mean ask 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 your kids if they would want to see their dad die in the ring you know what I mean for a WBC cha championship title ask your wife if she would want to see you die in the ring for a WBC championship title the corner himself, the team, they're mad at Mark Breland for throwing in the towel because he said that they have an understanding that if he's to die in the ring, then they're just supposed to understand that and let that happen. Wada, you you as the fighter, you're supposed to feel that way. We, um, we, I'm taking nothing away from you for feeling that way. But your team is not supposed to feel that way. Your team isn't supposed to feel that way. Your family is not supposed to feel that way. Your team, your trainers, not only are they there to teach you boxing and to oversee you when you're in the ring, they are also there to protect you when you're in the ring, to protect you from your own bravery, to protect you from your own heart. So um, this statement is just absolutely ridiculous to me especially with all the deaths that we've had in boxing this year just this year alone we've had more deaths than we've been accustomed to um in the sport of boxing so just with all the deaths that we've had in the sport of boxing to me this is just something absolutely ridiculous to say um in the aftermath of defeat and like i said i understand that deontay wilder his feelings are hurt his pride is hurt but maybe it's time for the bronze bomber to take the mask off and put the put the Deontay Wilder mask back on because he says when he puts the mask on that's when he turns into the bronze bomber well the fight is done you lost time to take the mask off and time to get back to Deontay Wilder time to get back focused and time to get back working on the craft that got you to being uh the bronze bomber you know what I mean um I thought that those statements was just absolutely uh, 
ridiculous. Those are my thoughts on that. With that being said, Iron Mike Tyson had Sugar Ray Leonard on his hot boxing podcast. And the reason why I'm intertwining these two videos is because Mike Tyson on the podcast, he gets into, you know, the mindset of a warrior, the mindset of a fighter. He speaks about being a god of war and being a student of war and, and having studied all the great warriors, you know, whether it been great kings, great boxers, you know, great fighters, you know, whatever. He talks about having the mindset um, of a warrior. He also talks about the mindset of a warrior compared to the average person, even compared to the person that watches boxing, to the person that is just a die a, 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 a diehard, you know, boxing fan. He even talks about the mindset of a fighter compared to even that person. You know what I mean? A boxing fan or a diehard boxing fan. Um, he he talks to Sugar Ray Leonard just so raw and so just in awe of Sugar Ray Leonard and just an amazing interview and to me it's really amazing to see Mike Tyson and if you guys been following my channel you guys know uh, Mike Tyson was a childhood hero of mine still a hero to me still a living legend I just really love it and buy Mike Tyson so to hear Mike Tyson talk about and and if you know me I believe that Mike Tyson in his prime had one of the greatest skill sets ever of any fighter whether it be a heavyweight you know in any weight class just one of the greatest combinations of speed power footwork head movement um just the complete package in iron mike tyson i mean even though for his height he was shorter he can still box you know what i mean so it was just 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 um just just amazing to hear mike tyson in awe of sugar ray leonard just telling him and he's he's, he's breaking down sugar ray leonard's fights to him, all his early fights, when he fought with Fredo Benitez, when he fought Roberto Duran, and he talks about how Sugar Ray Leonard would let his hands go and just throw amazing, beautiful punches, and he talks about Sugar Ray Leonard's speed, how one or how, how two or three punches, you know, sounded like one punch, and he was just in complete awe of Sugar Ray Leonard, and it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing um podcast by I Mike Tyson. Um, if you guys get the chance, I am Mike Tyson and Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, so if you guys get the chance, definitely go and check that out. It's a um, it's a pretty 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 impressive interview done by two great fighters. You know what I mean? To hear these two men um, speak of each other, I speak more of um, Mike Tyson. I think in that moment, Sugar Ray Leonard was even in awe of Mike Tyson because of the way Mike Tyson was in awe. You know, of him, I mean, Sugar Ray Leonard said, you know, this guy, Mike Tyson, was just an absolute, you know, monster. Never seen anybody go into the ring with the type of energy and, 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 and just the will to destroy his opponent like Mike Tyson. And on the flip side, Mike Tyson is saying um, this guy was an absolute um, assassin. Just the, the speed, the power, um, just absolutely amazing. Um, also, Sugar Ray Leonard talks about some of his personal issues um addictions to certain things uh he talks about how he had low self-esteem and, and and he doesn't see his himself as a tough guy which is really 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 amazing to me because if you go back you know if you look at sugar ray Leonard now he doesn't come off you know as a as a tough guy at all he's really soft spoken you know he wasn't that that big of a guy and he still keeps his his weight you know down pretty low so when you when you look at Sugar Ray Leonard now, and but then you think about him as a fighter, even though he wasn't the most intimidating looking fighter either, he still you know spoke soft, always had a smile on his face. But boy, when he got in there, um, just an absolute absolute savage, and um, you know that too, the mindset of a fighter compared to a regular person. You look at Oscar De La Hoya now, even when Oscar De La Hoya was fighting, when he wasn't fighting, I'm talking about when he was out of the ring, he didn't look like an imposing person or you know an intimidating fighter but boy when he got in the ring boy was his hands intimidating so um just 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 great stuff by iron mike tyson and sugar ray leonard like i said if you guys get the chance to go check it out make sure you guys definitely go check it out um until then keep fighting your fight leave your comments in the comment section about what you think about both of these topics um deontay wilder's comments on death being you know better than victory and the hot boxing podcast with Mike Tyson and Sugar Ray Leonard. 
Um, you know, still shout out to Deontay Wilder. We understand he's going through tough times, but it's just a loss, my bro. Um, you know, the greatest have gone through it, bounce back from it, get that head strong, and come back and do your thing. Until then, um, you guys keep fighting your fight. Protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Box. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.